Hello, everyone. So my name is Ulalika Tamawaran, or you can call me Lin, and today I'm coming with my friends. Hi, I'm Arito Ulalakakdi, and you can call me Ping An. So today we are going to present under the topic of take urgent action to combat climate change and its impact. So we plan to solve this problem by promoting use of electric car. So now let's take a look at our country, especially in Bangkok. A problem is that really near to us. A thousand of cars line up in traffic congestions. Take an example of the road in front of the sound, um, my favorite place to go during my break. So each of these cars emits out an amount of CO2 and thus particles, depending on their vehicle type. So now with this thousand of cars together and the conjunctions on the road, each emitting pollution of their own, the combined total that is emitted is massive. So if you take a look at outside right now, you can see um, at PM 2.5 in the air. So this is a huge and major problem to group of people who are allergic to the dust particles. CO2 is also really damaging to the environment. Um, this CO2 leads to a climate change, so the average temperature of the Earth is increasing up suddenly and resulting ice melting at the North Pole or um, where the polar bear are living and also lead to a land become a drier. So this is the problem that we can see in the present. And the next one, my friend, we talk about the solutions. Uh, thank you. So before I talk about the solution, I must first mention the factors that why uh, electric cars might be not be the answer for everyone. Because uh, first, not everywhere has electricity, such as rural areas. In rural areas, electricity might not be accessible there yet, and having an electric car there might not be the best uh, ideal solution. Another is uh, the cost. Now, uh, fuel prices are rising in the present, but uh, it's still more cost effective when uh, they do break down. For example, uh, normal cars, when they break, you can fix the engine, just part of the engine. But for electric cars, most of the problem is with the battery. And replacing the battery can cost you up to uh, 100 and like over 100,000 of baht, which uh, in that case, it would be more cost efficient to just buy a new car. Now with that uh, problem, we have to keep in mind that we were, while adding a uh, benefit to like uh, increase people to use electric cars, we must not cause any unnecessary problems or disadvantages for uh, these fuel cars. So first, we got our inspiration from the EC pass that the Thai motorway use. Now EC pass is like uh, this special lane where you can go through and quickly pay through the throw without having to queue with other people and you can clearly see that it goes faster. So we, we use the same thing for our traffic. We add special lanes to our uh, highly traffic roads and we only allow uh, electric cars on it. This will cause more people to take interest in electric cars because of how like it will provide them with uh, less traffic and they can drive to the city faster. Now to add on with this, uh, we can also provide them with more charging car stations for electric cars and more parking spots. So they will the ease and convenience of having uh, uh, parking spots without having to fight with other people. Now I hope that these solutions uh, will help because it will first decrease the amount of traffic and with less cars on the road means less pollution emitting from the cars. And I wish that in the near future, right, uh, this pollution problem will be decreased and it will be a better place for us to live in. Uh, thank you.